there, this is Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures. And in this video, I'd like to share with you the share icon. Now I'm on Safari and obviously on the Boomer Tech Adventures webpage. And you will notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a blue icon, a square with an upward pointing arrow. That is the share icon and it shows up in a lot of apps on Apple devices. And it simply means you can share content. So let's see what happens when I tap on it. All right. You will see a row of icons. It may or may not begin with AirDrop. It depends how old your device is. But you will see messages and mail and that's usually what I'm using the share icon for. That means if I want to send somebody this website, it will be embedded either in my text or in my email. Let me show you. So I'm going to tap on messages. Up pops a new message. I can type in where the cursor is, who it's going to. But notice that the website is already embedded in the message and then I can add additional comments. So that makes it an efficient way to share information like a website. AirDrop, I'm not going to spend time here except to tell you it is a method for sharing files across Apple devices. Now, the rest of this row is all a series of icons and yours is going to look different than my iPad because these are all apps I have on my iPad. The only one you might see for sure is Notes because that comes on everybody's iPad. But simply if I want to send a uh, share with other people via Facebook, this website, I would just tap the icon and follow the directions and the software would take care of everything else other than what I want to say about it. Moving down. Okay, copy will allow me to copy the URL and that way if I were going to put it in a, uh, another document, I could paste it. Under that, find on page. Well, this is really a cool feature, especially I'm thinking if you're doing research. So let's say that you uh, want to look up information about alternative forms of energy. You don't really know too much about it, but it's a big issue and you want to be educated so that you can carry on an insightful conversation. So what you might do is find the web page and then use the find on page, maybe using the word windmill. Let me show you how that works. So when I tap on that, what happens, you see, is I have a search window. Now, I'm not going to search for windmills on the Boomer Tech page, but I might search for iPhone. So oh, I started with the I. Notice that automatically the page slid to where there was an I. It's highlighted in yellow, and I'm going to type in the rest. And there is one use on this page where the word iPhone is. Now, as I slide down, where else? Well, on this rust colored bar, I see that iPhone is highlighted. I wonder if it's anywhere else. I'm not seeing it going pretty fast, but all right, I'm not seeing it down there. But I'm seeing it now up at the top on the rust bar. So that's the find on page feature, which if you're looking for a particular word or person's name or place name and you're on a web page, by using that, it will take you right to that part of the web page that is discussing that item. Let's go back. Under Find on Pages, Add to Favorites, Add to Reading List, Add to Bookmark. I'm going to make whoop, an assumption that most people are familiar with that. If you're not, just leave me a comment and I'll make a little video just for you. 
and I'll post it to our Facebook page. Uh, let's see. Add to home screen. Now this is a feature I use all the time, especially when I find a recipe I like. Say, oh, would that be good as a side dish for Thanksgiving? Or so-and-so would really love that dessert for their birthday. This is what happens. I tap on home screen and the URL is there. And if I want to write something, I can. Uh, and you see where it says add, it's in blue in the little upper right hand corner. And that, of course, if it's in blue, it means it's a live link. So I'm gonna tap on that. And do you see on the bottom row, kind of in the middle, it says Boomer Tech. There's the icon instantaneously. So I tap on it and it takes me right back to the web page. Now think how convenient that is. Instead of having to go in and type in Boomer Tech Adventures 14 times, I just have to type in, I just have to tap that icon. I think I'll leave it there. Okay, let's go back. What else is there? Ah, markup. Now, there might be a time when you wish to save a uh, copy of a website and you might want to make notes on it. Well, you can do that with markup. You see the icon as a circle with a marker tip. I'm going to tap on that. All right, the web page has refreshed. And that same icon, only this time in blue, is in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to tap on that. And down at the bottom, I have a series of markers and colors to choose from. So, um, oh, I'm going to choose this wide marker, wide tip marker. It's in red. And you see, I can draw with it. And I put arrows, whatever. And if I don't like it, I can erase it. But if I don't want to use my finger, I can hit the plus sign. And a text box appears. And I can type in notes that I want. So it's pretty cool. Uh, again, another cool feature. When I'm done... I go to done and I have two choices. I can save the file to my iPad. I'll tap on that. And you see I've got all these choices where I can save it. And it's saving it as a PDF, a portable document format, which means anybody can open it on any device if I share it with them. But I'm, if I save it to my iPad, I have it then that I can look at it offline, look at my notes, do whatever I want. And I can, again, share it, uh, my markings, with other people. But again, it's not going out to the web. Nobody else is going to see your markings, your comments, unless you choose to share it with them in a separate step. So let me cancel that. I'm going to hit Done again because I really don't need to save this. So I'm simply going to delete. All right. Now, under markup is print. Lots of people in my adult ed classes say, well, how do I print from my iPad? I don't get it. Well, first of all, you have to have a wireless printer. But once you have that set up, you always find the print option under the share icon. So you would simply tap that and follow directions. Now, Everything else under there are, once again, apps I have. So what you have listed there will be different than what I have. So I'm not going to go through them. Uh, but down at the bottom, Edit Actions. Once again, note it's in blue text, which means it's live. So I'm going to do that. And I find all the options that I've been looking at have either a red circle or a green circle next to them. And uh, they are categorized, favorites, safari, other actions. But what happens when I tap the red circle? Let's see. Ah, did you notice? The word remove comes up over to the right. So if I wanted to remove copy from my actions under the share icon, that's what I would do. Now what happens if I tap one of the green circles. Ah, it moves up there. 
So if I want to get rid of one of these, then I would tap it, it would turn to red, and then I would hit those three lines and then the remove button. Well, that's the exploration of the share icon on Safari on my iPad. Yours will be similar, but not identical because it depends, remember, on what apps we each have. So if you've never looked beyond email and texting on the share icon, take a couple minutes next time you got a free five minutes and check out what you have. That's it for now. This has been Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures for Ed and Chris, thanking you for taking time to watch our video. And if you have never visited us at our website, boomertechadventures.com, we invite you to do so. Uh, you, there you will find our blog and some free giveaways and other resources. Have a great day.